Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain. Disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this, the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they were glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has risen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread to the whole of Judea and all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Gospel, the people exclaimed, 
God has visited his people. If we intervene to save Lonnie and Doug, then we too can say God has visited his people. Pope Francis this last week said that these people are not statistics. These people are not academic exercises. Pope Francis said that. They must come into our hearts. Our prayer is a source of hope for all. Let me say that again. They must come into our hearts. Our prayer is a source of hope for all. In April, we did a novena to St. Joseph the Worker. April 23rd through May 1st, feast day of our patron saint, St. Joseph the Worker. We came together for nine day novena to figure out what is our vision? What is our mission for our church? And I had the people that were here. Many people prayed here. Many prayed at home. The ones that are here, I had them write down on a piece of paper every night what the Holy Spirit had told them about the vision for our parish. And I took hundreds of pieces of paper and I put them together and I came up with what the Holy Spirit told us. Before you leave tonight, one per family, please. Bookmarks explain out what the Holy Spirit told us what our mission is. Our mission, our parish, is a light to our community. Jesus says, Blessed the one who accepts my mission. We are to be a light for the lost ones. Lonnie and Doug and others. To be a light to our community. Number one, first we need to pray. We need to seek holiness. Many people say that holiness is not for me. Holiness is for saints, clergy, religious, people that work at church. They're the ones that are called to holiness. Note, we are all called, called to holiness. Holiness is aligning our wills with the will of God. It's a closeness with God that we're all called to. We're all called to holiness. We're all called to align our wills with God's will. We're all called to be close to God. We are all called to holiness. And God has a plan for us all. Our wills align with God primarily in three ways, through our family, our career, and our vocation. In all three of those areas, you can find a way to align your will, the family, and your career, and your vocation. You can align that with God's will through prayer and reflection and contemplation. And then you bring that alignment, that holiness with God, connection with God, you bring that into the parish for all of us to share. You align your will with God's will and you bring it together as a community and then together we'll make a big difference for this community. We'll be a light for this community. You bring us all our wills aligned, come together at once. And you know what? If you all gave, if everyone in this parish gave one hour of service a month, we would have to find more programs for you. One hour a month, about a thousand staff hours a month, if it all came together, gave one, gave one hour for some mission, some ministry in our parish, aligning your will with God's will to the God's community. One hour a month. And we have many, many staff hours of community service. Number two, to be a light to our community.
community. We need to build relationships. We need to build relationships in our family, our career, in our location. We need to build relationships within the parish and within the community. And you'll find Lonnie and Doug both there. They live here. They are your neighbors. We need that relationship. And our prayer, our prayer must be evident, visible, and transparent. Evident. Our prayer is evident when there is action associated with it. Our prayer is visible when we are seen. Our prayer is transform, transparent when we are known. People know you. This is well, you're from Central the Worker. You are a light to our community. Bonnie and Doug live here. They are our neighbor. They are lost. We are a light to our community. We are a light to Bonnie and Doug. Before they jump, we can grab them and say, 